Was it just the root again? Uh. Oh my god, no! It's a bait buckle! Oh, yes! That's a K98. That is definitely another K98 K. It's another gun, it's another gun. Oh my god! Hello guys and welcome back to another video of World War II metal detecting here in these absolutely beautiful woods. Yes, we are back at it again at the location from the last video, the camp where lots of German soldiers towards the end of the war duck positions and just try to survive uh, on their way to surrender to the Americans and in the process they lost lots of stuff here and also just dumped most of their equipment because they didn't need it anymore and today we are here again looking for the past and without further talking let's just see what history has in store for us today okay i didn't film because there's just so much junk <laughs> detector literally can't shut up stuff everywhere and now i found something a bit of a better signal but let's see what it is it's definitely roundish so that's why i turn on the camera now could be something good could be junk as well oh no yo that's cool that's a pocket watch Nice! Finally something personal! Oh man! I definitely lost more stuff here, or just dumped stuff. Oh, unfortunately the insides are completely gone, it's just a shell. But I guess that's a silver pocket watch from the war era. Lost by a soldier. That's a really cool find. It's always strange how you only find like the shells. It's very rare you find a complete one, but still very cool. Yeah, there's stuff everywhere here. Maybe I have to leave the camera running because I never know what comes up. Cool find. All right, really interesting right next to the pocket watch, some iron, piece of coal, I think. And now there's also some glass in there. So it definitely feels like a camp, well, which, which it was. And this looks like a place they maybe rested at. Maybe had a little campfire. And yeah, threw some stuff away. Now well, that's almost a bit too good to be true. <laughs> there we found the pocket watch. Now another fantastic signal where they probably rested for a bit, had a campfire. Oh, I, can, I think I can feel it. Here? Is that it? Or oh, is it just the root again? Uh. Oh, oh my god, no! It's a bait buckle! Oh, yes! Oh my god, yes, I knew it! I knew it! Guys, we've done it again. Something great. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, where's the brush? Let me get the brush. Oh, that is absolutely insane. Next to the pocket watch. And as you can see here, there's a little dugout, so probably lost by the soldier who dug this place out, and that is so cool. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, that's a bad buckle. It's made from aluminium. It's probably German army. Oh, yes. I don't find belt buckles a lot, really don't. And if I find them, they usually grind it off. So what the soldiers would do towards the end of the war, they would, you know, grind the swastika from all of their equipment and use the buckles after the war as well. Oh, and that's, I mean, it's part of the history, but if you find a buckle like this, you usually want them to be complete, right? So found a lot of them, which are grinded off, unfortunately. But let's see, let's turn it around and see what kind of buckle it is and if it's grinded off or not. Here we go. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I, oh, I, I, is it grinded off? Yeah, oh, God damn it. Of course it's grinded off. But this is actually a Reichsarbeitsdienst belt buckle, so Reich's labor service. So they were here as well. Oh, that is interesting. I mean, of course it's grinded off. Ugh, I don't even hope for it anymore. All the buckets I find are grinded off, but it's still part of the history. You know, the soldiers laying here in like April, 1945. They were close to the American lines going into capture. They just didn't want to have any swastikas on them. Grinded it off, threw it away or just Wow, I mean that's still an amazing piece of history. 
don't find belt buckles a lot. And I've never found a Reichsarbeitsdienst buckle, so this is a first for me. And I'm very, very happy with that. Surprised it was this shallow on the ground. I mean, you saw it, right? Wow, and I'm only like two hours in, not even, probably like one hour. So that is crazy. Let me get the dirt out of there. Maybe I can show you the imprint of the swastika so you could see what it would have looked like. Yep. Oh, belt buckles are also always awesome to find. There we go. Getting the roots out of there. And I believe this one will come out quite nice after some cleaning with oxalic acid. There we go. There you can see the swastika from the inside and from the outside it was granite off. So just the shovel left there. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Already made the trip here worth it. Yeah, I mean, let's carry on. They probably dumped even more stuff, lost some stuff. So let's see what the past has in store for us. All right, guys, something annoying just happened. I thought I was filming, but the camera obviously wasn't. And I found something amazing. Um, there's this little dugout here, if you can make that out. And right next to the dugout, also very close to the buckle we just found, I just got a huge iron signal. <laughs> and I found the first gun of this place. It's a Mauser K98K rifle. Oh man, it's a bummer I didn't get that on camera. It was very deep here in the sand, um, but hard to get out with the roots here in the way. But yeah, that's a German K98K Mauser rifle. Very iconic. It's in bad condition, obviously, but still cool to find and crazy to think it's probably from the same soldier who lost the buckle, like two meters in that direction. And also very close to the swamp where we found um, the prisoner of Watchhack last time. And also still have some deep signals in there. So it's definitely time to <laughs> dig more around here. Yeah, but that's a pretty neat find. Very cool. Witness of the past. Oh, it's just so relaxing being here. There's just no city noise, no roads. It's just the birds and the nature. And the detector giving us good signals. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, it's very exciting. Sounds like the belt buckle, to be honest. Maybe a bit different, but similar. There we go, it's down the dirt. Wait, what? Oh, is it already out here? There we go, oh, oh yes! Oh, oh, yes, 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 finally! Oh, I think it's a Reichsmark coin. It's silver Reichsmark coin. Oh, that's amazing. I've only ever found one. And that had a bunch of holes in it, for whatever reason. So let's see what this is. Oh, yes. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, yes, finally a complete one. Oh, it's with Paul von Hindenburg on there. Just carefully swipe the dirt away. Yep, Paul von Hindenburg. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, this place is really generous. It's five Reichsmark. 19. 36, so even pre-war. See, there's no swastika on there. It's just the Reichsadler, Paul von Hindenburg. Five Reichsmark, wow, yes. <laughs> just look how shiny it is. It's basically new. Oh, always wanted to find a complete one. Whew. I just I don't know what to say. This place keeps on giving. Next to this <laughs> very sweet little swamp, so. Yeah. Okay. It sounds very close to the Reichsmark, but a bit more scratchy. But that could also be because it's very deep below all these roots. God damn it. Uh, come on. Oh, no way. It's actually another coin. Is it another silver coin? Oh my. I can't believe it. it it's, it's a silver coin, right? It's gotta be. Oh my god, it's another Reismar coin, guys. What? What? Are you kidding me? And this one has... Oh, look at that. The, oh, what does he even call it? The, the church in Potsdam. Ah, oh, yeah, the Garnizonskirche. Oh, 
This one is in a bit more rough shape, but it's still five Reichsmark. Wow. 1934. But this one has the little swastikas there. That's absolutely insane. It's another one. You, I've been going, I've, oh God, I can't even talk. <laughs> I've been metal detecting for like, what, four years now? Almost four years. And as I said, I only ever found one of these and it had a bunch of holes in them. Now I find two back to back? That's absolutely mind blowing. This place definitely keeps on giving. <laughs> Let's see if we can find even more. Let's set a record for today. Okay, I may have found something very interesting. I uh, didn't put the camera on because the signal was like a trash. I usually wouldn't dig this, but in this place I'm gonna dig everything. But look at that. It's roundish. And you know what this reminds me of? Um, like the the plate on the belt buckets with the swastika and so on. So let's take a look. Maybe it is just that. Oh yeah, it is. It really is. Wow, another part of a belt buckle. And this one is not actually from the army. Oh, it's very brittle. It's not from the army, it's from the fire force. Firefighters. Um, what does it say? It's sur... Air... Yeah, it's definitely from the firefighters. Whew, that's cool. I usually wouldn't dig this, but it turns out it's definitely worth digging. It was very deep in there. Cool, maybe we find the bed buckle for it. All right, that's literally another signal like the Reichsmark and it's very damn deep, but also very close to the other ones we found. So my guess is <laughs> it is another one. But uh, let's get through these roots first. There we go, I think I got it, no. Yeah, it's definitely out. It's another coin. It's another Reichsmark. It's another Reichsmark. Please don't tell me I hit it with my spade, please. <laughs> it's actually another one. What? Oh, it's a Paul von Hindenburg again, or is it? Can't really tell. Let's see what this side says. Oh, it's 1935. Again, five Reichsmark, I think. Yep, definitely. Wow, the third one. Yep, it's Paul von Hindenburg again. <laughs> what can I say, guys? This is absolute madness. Oh man, the mosquitoes. Oh. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Maybe we find even more. All right, just had some lunch, recharged some energy, and now back at it again. That's a big iron signal right here. Um, yep, below a big fat root as usual. <laughs> uh, dang it. What? It's really massive. Let's see, maybe I have to skip the time for you. Because really, takes. oh yeah, it's, it's down there below this fat root. I'm gonna skip the time for you and see you when we have it out here. Okay, so there are steel cartridges coming out of there. Not really sure what kind. And I think it's a magazine. Maybe. Not sure, so let's dig a bit further. Okay, here it comes. Oh, no, it's not a magazine. It's it's a spade, shovel head. Found that here last time as well. From a field spade from the German Wehrmacht. That is interesting. And the ammo on top. Probably still some down there. I just noticed there's another one. Two spades in one hole. Wow. Interesting. Is there another one maybe? <laughs> oh, there is definitely a signal, but yeah, it's a cartridge. Some ammunition still down here. All kinds of ammunition. Hmm, but that's cool. I mean, the condition is still all right. Two spades from the German Wehrmacht. All right, the battery on the camera is low, so this is gonna be the last signal of this battery. Let's make it something good. Signal definitely is fine. Okay, there we go. Uh, no, can't use the spade. Oh, saw something there, something aluminum. Oh, 
yeah, that is something nice. That is a Kriegsmarine button. Very cool, from the Navy, the German Navy. Made from aluminium. Oh yeah, that's really cool. You find all kinds of stuff here. Kriegsmarine, Reichsarbeitsdienst, normal hair. <laughs> Only have to find some Luftwaffe stuff now. Interesting. All right. Decent signal again. The roots. The roots are killing me. Whew. Oh, yeah. Right next to it. There we go. Is it actually another coin? Could be, right? Another Reichsmark. Could definitely be at that depth. What does it feel like? It's big. I think it's a bit bigger. Yeah, it's no coin, but... Is it a buckle? Is it a buckle again? Oh, I think it's a buckle again. Oh, yes, it's another belt buckle, guys. Oh my... It's a second belt buckle! What is going on with this place? What? Wow! As you can see, there's still a bit of leather left. Oh my god. Oh, it was really deep in there. Something else? Nah. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even surprised by this point. Now let's turn it around and see if this one is grinded off. But first of all, I'm gonna check if I'm actually recording. Don't wanna... <laughs> Have that happening again. All right, the camera is running. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure. Now let's turn it around and see what it is. <gasps> no, it's actually a Luftwaffe belt buckle. What? And I was just talking about how there's stuff from everything around, like Kriegsmarine here, and now I find the Luftwaffe belt buckle, and let's see. This one is not grinded off. Oh my God, yes. <gasps> wow. <laughs> That is an amazing find. I have never found a Luftwaffe belt buckle before. Like, I don't even think I have found any Luftwaffe artifacts before. Wow, that is crazy and in good condition. Also some leather. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just amazed by the abundance of relics in this spot. What the hell? Let's clean it up a bit here. <laughs> wow, this is really my secret little spot. It's a pretty good condition, I'd say. Don't see a lot of corrosion, just a bit here up top, but that's really not too bad. And down here, the main part with the eagle is in great condition. And phew, what can I even say? <sighs> this really is a late war location. You can just tell by the diversity of the stuff you find. Also found the prisoner of war stuff, so just a mix of all kinds of soldiers. Oh man, the mosquitoes. <laughs> Let's keep going. This is absolutely amazing. All right, a bit on the bigger side. There we go. Oh yeah, it's, it's loose. Oh, it's a, oh, guys, what is this place? What is this place? We just found the freaking Luftwaffe belt buckle. Now there's a pistol. What? Ah, I just can't. <laughs> oh, my. look at that. Oh, sadly, the grip is rotten or uh, it's broken off rather. Oh, but this one is great. Pretty sure that's a Sauer 38H. I found this model twice before, I think. Oh, that's... I mean, the condition is bad. Like I said in the last video as well, the iron finds weren't in the best condition, but still finding this with these awesome Bakelite grips is just a pleasure. Yeah, they just dumped everything. Guns, badges, equipment. You see, can see there are parts of the holster still onto it, I think. Yeah, wow. There we go. Oh, it feels like a belt. Yeah, it's a belt with a buckle attached. Ooh, that is interesting. Uh, 
yeah look at that it's a little belt the buckle seems to be made from brass i think okay unfortunately it's really hard to preserve the lever it gets dry and brittle really fast and you can't really do much about it if you know a good method to preserve leather, do let me know. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Would love to know, but I tried a lot of things and it's really hard. But that's a cool little find. Oh, here it comes. Oh gosh, what is that? Oh, wow! Whoa, it's actually a huge belt with a buckle. What? What? What kind of belt is huge like that? Never seen that before. I still some fragments down there, but huh. interesting find. Huge belt and buckle. Okay, just about to free this relic from the roots. I think it's a rifle bolt. Uh, come on! Uh, God damn it! Yep. There we go. Mosa Kennedy 8 rifle bolt. Um, Considering the Canon T8 we found before didn't have a bolt, this might actually be the one for the rifle we found. Yeah, cool thing. Alright, that's a pretty big signal. Definitely getting that out. Could be some interesting equipment, so little time skip for you. I think I can get it loose now. It's quite exhausting digging through the roots here. It's something massive. It's not hollow or not anything, but uh, yeah, it's coming loose. Oh. Let's hope it's not a mine or anything. <laughs> but no, that's what I expected actually. It's a magazine. That is a PPSH drum magazine. Wow. At least that's what I think, but it surely looks like it. Don't find these a lot over here. Huh, cool. Let's clean it up a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the opening where the bullets would be ejected from. Very cool. And look how deep that was. <laughs> Crazy. Still goes to show there are some deep signals here, which is nice. Is it actually empty? I can't tell. I mean, obviously there are no bullets in here, but maybe further inside. Yeah, I think I can see some bullets in there, but Either way, that's a pretty cool find. Okay, just found a little coin. It was a very mixed signal, so it sounded kind of crap, but it's a coin. It's probably aluminium. Not sure what kind of coin yet. It's definitely not German, I don't think. Let's see here. Oh, that looks nice. That's a uh, 50, 50 Kroshi? Is it Pol Polish? Yeah, it's a Polish coin. Okay, probably World War II era then, right? Oh, huh. nice. I've never found this before. All right, so this is very strange. You see this deep hole and like next to it was, this was laying here, um, K98 bayonet, I believe, the just the blade without the grip. And look at this. There's some sort of pot or maybe a, what is that? It's definitely porcelain and sticking out of there. I dubbed this is from another d digger. I highly dubbed it because it looks it looks strange. It's probably from from an animal, but look at that. Some porcelain here. Oh yeah, it's it is some sort of bowl. Does it have a stamp? No, unfortunately not, but <laughs> that's interesting. Could also be from the wartime frame. Big iron once again. Whew, I'm really exhausted, man. Really exhausted. Oh, but I can't leave yet. Need to make some more cool finds here. Right? Like this. K98 bayonet. Well, kind of what's left of it, right? It's just the grip and part of the blade. Um, but that's cool. I was just wondering where am I gonna find another bayonet? I found like maybe four bayonets in this general area before. But none today. And this is the first one. Here we go. <laughs> well, it's a decent condition. But unfortunately, the wooden grips, of course, rotten away. But still, very nice piece of history.
I cannot believe it guys, it's the third one of the day. <laughs> I just thought some iron junk was just digging away. I dig everything here and well, it is iron and it's small, but it's definitely not junk. Look at that, it's another belt buckle. Yeah, this one unfortunately made from iron, so <laughs> poor condition, but it's still, well, great, great find. Don't find belt buckles a lot, except in this area. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that. Uh, I think that must be the German hair belt buckle they got mit uns for the regular soldiers. Yeah, it's very, very corroded, but yeah, 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 I think you can make it out a little bit. It's a got mit uns one. Very, very crusty, but yeah, still very cool. Goes to show I still have signals I haven't found and I gotta keep going. Okay, very big iron, very shallow. Could this be the next bayonet? Who knows? Oh, right below the surface, huh? Oh. Oh, man, it's really huge. Let's see. Oh. See, I can barely dig here. Oh. There's Reddick. Maybe I can kind of pull it up with the pickaxe. Uh, come on. Yeah, oh, look at that. It's definitely long-ish. So it could really be a bayonet or uh, maybe rifle. Let's dig a bit over here. Yeah, it's definitely long-ish. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a K98. That is definitely a Mauser K98. <sighs> I'm just amazed about how much we find today. It's crazy. This is probably the day where I found the most relics ever in one day. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, it's stuck below a root. Oh, here it comes. Uh. Oh, oh, below two roots. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Somebody make a Metal Max compilation. Metal Max cursing at roots for two hours <laughs> or something. <laughs> this is just crazy. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, yep, okay. I can pull it through here. But I need to do something about this. Oh, man. We really got a situation here. Uh, come on. Uh, it's coming. Whew. How do I want to pull this? I think I'm going to pull it this way. Yep. Yeah. Uh, there it is. And now, I can maybe lift this up and pull it. Yep. Oh, there we go. Ooh, oh, wow. Look at that. Still some wood left. And what's interesting, but not uncommon for these guns, when you find them, the trigger is completely crushed. So in late war locations, you find that like this a lot. Soldiers obviously deactivated their guns most of the time, so the enemy couldn't use them anymore. Wow, the condition isn't too bad, wow. Don't see that a lot, especially considering it was almost a surface find, huh? Cool. Well, yeah, condition is not too bad. Again, missing the bolt. Trigger crushed, so definitely deactivated before going into capture. Nice, Mauser K98K. Ah, damn, some big iron down here. Come on, come on. Oh, it's really deep. Oh, I can feel something. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's deep. Oh, man, the mosquitoes. What the hell? It's like a whole swarm is following me. At least I brought some repellent with me so they don't actually sting me. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's loose. It, oh, 
It's another gun, it's another gun. Oh my God. What is going on with this place? What? It's a pistol, guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, ah, they're mosquitoes. It's another pistol. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. It's crazy. This, this one, unfortunately, doesn't have any grips. No nice bakelite grips. It's pretty crusty. Oh man. But it's still a nice find. Yeah, I was very deep down there. Been there for a long time. No clue what kind of pistol this is. Don't recognize it as first sight, but yeah. <laughs> nice find. Let's keep going. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna call it a day. <laughs> Been detecting for around seven hours without taking many breaks and. Yeah, I'm really dead, but today was definitely successful. Just look at this hall of relics. We found so much stuff. It's absolutely mind-blowing. First of all, the two K98K rifles, German Mausers. The left one is actually in pretty good condition, which is cool to see. Always love finding them, even though I can't keep them. They're just iconic pieces of history. Come on, mosquitoes, leave me alone just for once. <laughs> just this once. Um, yeah, of course, also, also the Mauser K98. Bolt, the butt plate, found it scattered around them. Um, the Sauer 38H, very cool German pistol. Unfortunately, the Bakelet grip with the logo is pretty broken, but still loaded anyway. Um, we have, yeah, th three five Reichsmark coins, which is so nice. I, oh, the mosquitoes, ah, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> so many mosquitoes. Uh, I've never found them before, so that is really cool free in one trip. I love me some Reichsmarks. Um, this pistol, which I still don't really recognize at all. Um, no Bakelite grips here. And so no logo for me to go by. I'm probably gonna research it and find out, but also nice find. Found a little broken K98K bayonet and yeah, a, <laughs> a blade of a K98 bayonet. Nothing really special. Two entrenching tools or basically the shovel heads for the German field spade. PPSH drum magazine, which is also in very good condition. It was very deep. Um, the lucky horseshoe definitely gave us some luck today. This is a mystery object. It looks like some sort of pipe um, with a top here, which you could screw on there. But um, my guess is there used to be glass here and contain some sort of liquid. I don't know. Maybe you have an idea, so comment down below if you know. Um, then we have <laughs> we have three belt buckles. That is crazy. I just want to find one, but well, found three, so not complaining there. And this little, yeah, the little round thing you, what is it even called in English? I don't know. Um, anyways, it displays the information of what kind of belt buckle it is, you know, so this is for the firefighters. Um, the Reichsarbeitsdienst belt buckle in great condition. The Luftwaffe belt buckle actually got really clean just by, yeah, um, brushing it off a little bit. The Wehrmacht Herr belt buckle in really bad condition, iron unfortunately, but whatever. We got the 50 Groschi or whatever this is from Poland. <laughs> Kriegsmarine button, the silver pocket watch from earlier. Uh, this is probably a tow hook from a vehicle, uh, I would guess, but don't quote me on that. Uh, got a lot of flare casings. This one is still in pretty good condition with the blue color here left. Another mystery object, some sort of rotor. No clue. Um, also no idea what this is. Um, got an electrical plug. Found that close to the field telephone from last time. Uh, uh, some sort of tool, belt, some buckles, some shell casings, and look at that. That's the <laughs> pile of trash I found today. And it's not all the trash. You know, you can't take all the trash with you. Some big iron trash is just, just way too heavy to carry, but you can see <laughs> it's so much. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did. It was probably one of the best days of digging I've ever had. There was just so much stuff and it was a lot of fun, even though I'm really drained now and gonna head home very soon. But yeah, definitely look forward to more videos. I got one more interesting video in the works. And after that, I'm gonna head here probably back again 
and yeah, see if more comes up. I know there are more positions in another forest very close to here and there's also a small creek so maybe we could even do a little magnet fishing there and see if they also dumped stuff in the water. Which is very likely so yeah, that's gonna be awesome but for today I'm gonna head home and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!